I don't think you're supposed to get sick after doing neck workouts. No. Isn't, that, isn't like the, the idea that we're reversing that? Yeah, but what we're doing might be considered hazardous to your health. So. We should have Holy sh oh, I don't think it's gonna break the ground. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Alright. Three, Three, two, two one. Great, that weight's still off. Burn your oh, it's down! Okay. Yeah! <laughs> So, we should have a disclaimer. So this is the disclaimer <laughs> that anything you see on today's stream, you may not actually want to attempt, except the stuff that we tell you is actually good for you. We are girthy neck professionals. The girthiest there is. As you can see. Going for the way in here. No, I'm actually very self-conscious, so I'm going to You're going to flex? You're going to flex? <laughs> Oh, you had a whole more range when you flex. All right, 16 inch neck. I don't even know how to flex my neck. 16. Okay. 13. No, I'm just kidding. It's uh, that's just over 16. Just so over we're, 16. We're really close. All right, all right. It's, it a, fair, like... it's a fair fight. So inevitably speaking, as you're yeah. gaming, you're gonna end up in this posture, where your head just starts to come farther forward, you start to lean in as you start to focus on what's going the on. The engaged, the, okay, now it's time to try. If you're playing with a controller, you start to lean farther and farther forward. And what that's going to do, yeah. that's going to cause strain on all of these muscles back here, because now they're nice and short. And all these muscles here at the base of the skull, Kangas was kind enough to shave his head for this demonstration. Yep. Um, so we can see all of these muscles. Go ahead and flex these muscles right here. I don't, ah, I, don't know, I don't know how to do yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> but anyway, these yeah. muscles at the base of the skull here, they get tight, and all of the nerves that kind of like go into the top of your skull and wrap around your head like this all go through these muscles at the base of your skull here. So a lot of times, headaches that come from gaming, or what we call tension headaches, come from these muscles impinging on those nerves. So what we can do about that is try to have a better posture, but that's freaking hard. It's really hard to sit in this position for six, seven hours if you're a serious gamer. Mm -hmm. Even two, three hours, that's really difficult to do. That's a really tall order. So naturally we kind of default into this like slump forward posture with the forward head. So the next best thing you can do outside of like actively taking breaks every hour on the hour, um, doing your stretches and actually um, working on trying to be in the best posture possible is to build up the endurance of the muscles that actually keep you in that upright posture. Hmm. So I want to kind of mark a distinction here between endurance and strength. So strength is your ability to lift something heavy kind of a couple times, like yeah. six to eight reps. That's mostly like the training that I do. I yeah. don't do like as much like four reps or static holds right. and stuff like that. And you will build your endurance by working on your strength. There's some interplay there for sure. But the best way to actually increase the uh, ability to hold your posture in a uh, upright position for a long period of time is to build up the endurance of uh, those muscles. So sure. we're going to use lower weight and higher repetitions, which is actually going to be the opposite of what we're doing here today, just for <laughs> funsies. So if you're sitting in a chair like this, a gaming chair, if you're noticing that you're having neck pain, one of the first things that you should try to do as a gamer is put some kind of a pillow or a cushion behind your neck. You can use a towel roll as well. Okay. Go ahead and push the back of your head into this towel roll. But I want you to tuck your chin as well. I don't want you to kind of like tilt backwards. Yep. So what this does is this chin tuck back into this pillow will actually help engage these deep neck flexors here. The muscles behind your throat on the front side of your neck, these muscles are responsible for putting you in that upright posture um, mm. and kind of fighting that nerd neck position that we end up in. So am I doing this for reps or am I doing this like So I typically, hold? when I have somebody that has neck pain, prescribe this for a static hold, what we okay. call an isometric. That's a hold when you're contracting the muscles but you're not actually going anywhere for about 30 to 45 seconds oh, just to try okay. to build up that endurance. Because like I said, this is about the long game endurance, not necessarily strength. So from this, this kind of isometric hold, which you can also do with something like the iron neck, then you can evolve into kind of more like comprehensive exercises to really build up your endurance long term and kind of prevent this. But this is yeah, I'm definitely- I'm feeling it up here. I'm feeling it like, 
I, am I supposed to be feeling it more in here? Because like I'm feeling it right at the base where you were talking about. So everything kind of works in like cross patterns in the body. So like if you've got your neck flexors here that are firing, you're also going to have the sallocephalus, which are also firing as okay. well to kind of keep your head stable during yeah. this. Um, so that is kind of normal. I got the sub suboccipitals. 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 Yeah. Yes. So, this is a good way, poor man's version, to do this at home, and a really great starter for any of you guys with. This uh, is neck like this pain. is working. Like this is uh, this <laughs> something close. You feel up. it? Yeah, yeah. Like I'm, I'm already starting to feel, like, like the warming, burning sensation. The warming, burning sensation. Yeah. It's a lot of um. Uh -huh. It's it's like uh, I don't know the thing that I'd compare it to that, like I guess I do is like really slow control uh, curls. Uh, I start to feel kind of my tendons flaring up in my forearm when yeah. I'm doing them, like especially if I have like a cable, like doing cable uh, yep. curls. So that muscle muscles. burn is kind of a universal sensation, and just yeah. because the muscles that you're working here are kind of smaller postural muscles, don't doesn't mean that they won't kind of be affected by the same kind of like sensations that come with that. Uh -huh. All right, cool. So now there's that. All right. So with the iron neck, what you can do is. Instead of leaning forward like this while you're sitting and playing, I'm not talking about sitting at your desk and doing this, you definitely want to be standing. You're going to do kind of this motion where you're going back and forth, just like this. Go into a position of what we call protraction, back into a position of retraction like this. So that's what great exercise you can do. Great rep range for this is something like um, three sets of 10 or three sets of 15 uh, to kind of build up the endurance of those muscles. So you're doing higher reps and a lower weight. Mm -hmm. um, and the band I have on here is roughly 25 pounds of weight, um, so nothing too crazy. So forward and back like this. Uh, like we were saying earlier with the static holds of the pillow where you're just kind of pushing your head back into that, you can just kind of hold this position as well with the iron neck and just hold. So starting with the static hold, moving on to the retraction and protraction like this. Um, the big benefit of this thing is the swiveling mechanism like I mentioned earlier. So being able to look left and right like this huge benefit for strengthening those deep neck flexors. So there's more than just one fiber of the deep neck flexors, they're not just one strand of muscle. So they actually have like multiple strands that kind of span behind your throat. Um, and by rotating your neck like this side to side, you're actually engaging all of those different fibers. Hmm. So it's kind of the most comprehensive way to actually strengthen your neck in a way that will actually support you in your posture while you're So I also like to do this figure eight movement like this. You're kind of engaging some of those rotational muscles side to side, and this is just generally a really great way to build mobility in your neck, actually engaging all of those rotational muscles while you're taking the neck through its range of motion. So if you're having any limitations in your actual function of your neck, this is a really great way to kind of deal with that. Another one that kind of looks like a meme but is actually not, is the rotation all the way around like this, so. where you're spinning 360 degrees, and this is actually going to engage all of the fibers in your neck in all of the muscles in all directions. So this is definitely the most comprehensive way you can strengthen your neck. I see a lot of patients um, after car accidents, things like that, kind of in the normie population that I treat. Um, and I use this all the time just to kind of build overall stability in the neck, um, especially for things like whiplash and all that good stuff. Rotational movements. So that's kind of a demo of the iron neck proper. Now we are gonna completely throw all of that stuff <laughs> out and we are gonna just go to town with the neck. Feats of strength. Now the truth comes out. All right. no, no, no. no, I typically do manual therapy before I do kind of a lot of strengthening type exercises. So it's just kind sure. of one of the things you want to kind of loosen muscles up and then kind of like activate them in kind of a new functional movement pattern. Cool. So you'll be all right. So what, what do I do? Oh, oh, let's stick with this one for a little bit here. All right. So basically these muscles that we're working on here, I don't know how well you can see this on uh, the camera here, but all these muscles starting from the shoulder here all the way up here, your upper trap muscles, upper trapezius, are definitely some of the, the tightest muscles um, that we see on gamers. Upper muscle to push it to the head or to the bag in your mind. What? What? I had a stroke reading that. I'm sorry, Mr. High. Oh. Oh, that. Oh, God. Oh, okay, I'm a gamer. I'm a gamer, Dave! <laughs> oh, that was tight. Oh. Okay. Holy s***. <laughs> oh, just saw my 
light flash before my eyes. It's good. How was it? Disappointing. <laughs> Disappointing. <laughs> so is this something that you do to like the pro gamers that you work with? Yeah. Like this, this is this, this is a pretty typical session for most of the gamer guys that I work cool. with. So we're kind of working down through here, getting some of these muscles to relax. So kind of the basic principle here is that as you um, as you put postural stress on your muscles that are supposed to be handling your posture, like I said, those mm -hmm. deep neck flexors that are behind your throat here um, are big postural stability muscles. And those muscles aren't very big. Um, these muscles that are tight on the sides of your neck here are your movement muscles. They're responsible for making like big movements with your head, side to side, left, right, turning it, mm -hmm. back and forth, all that kind of stuff. Um, and it's not their job to like hold your neck upright. So when the postural muscles don't have a lot of endurance, so those deep neck flexors, they don't do their job very well. All these big movement muscles end up actually uh, having to compensate. And ah. they're not supposed to be doing that, so they get tight real quick. And they can cause pain and pinch on nerves and all kinds of stuff because they're not supposed to be this tight. Um, ideally, people are supposed to move uh, out of kind of the sitting position yeah. uh, more often than we do, but because we're modern men and women, we uh, kind of adapted these postures for long periods of time that really kind of burn out our postural muscles. So Yeah, we sit down for hours every day. Sitting is the new smoking. Hmm. Hmm. Let's go ahead and start right here. Oh god, what is this? Uh, You're gonna have marks on your neck, is that okay? Yeah. Okay. What's your next stream? Uh, your cast? Wednesday? Oh god. What is this? I'm really tempted to like put them all like up through here. <laughs> I've just never done Dude, that. Just before. do one on the top. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. What's the worst that could happen? You look like an idiot? <laughs> oh, it's, I mean, yeah, that's just a daily occurrence. Oh, uh, so is there like a reason you're putting these on specific muscles or something? Yeah, so the muscles up here are definitely kind of where your upper traps kind of come up through there, the paraspinal muscles, but your upper traps are the most superficial there, so that's the one that you're pulling there. And what these cups do is they just kind of basically pull the muscle up into the cup. If you actually look on MRI studies, you can see um, kind of the uh, effect of the muscle being kind of pulled up in there. And it just causes that same type of stretch that I was talking about earlier, like massage and cupping. There's just two different ways to stretch the muscle kind of in a really deep way. Um, and I always treat the upper back as well as the neck. I don't just uh, treat the neck um, because all these muscles from back here all attach up into the neck as well. So when you have tightness up there, it usually kind of translates down into here too. The two tight spots that I see for most gamers are through the neck here and then right here in the upper back. I can pretty much set my clock by gamers being tight in those two spots. You doing okay, bud? Yeah. You sure? The first two were the worst. Okay. And they still are, but um, I'm surviving. Let's wait till this next part. Uh? Just you wait. Alright, was that it? No, it's one more. Alright, go ahead and hop up on your hands and knees now. Oh, oh god. Huh. I don't want to. Oh, this it. feels weird. But you gotta. Okay. Alright, now you're gonna take your head and you're mm -hmm. gonna look this way. Ah! And you're gonna look that way. Okay. Sure. Yo, what's up, Almighty Banda? I am a doctor person. Ah! Why am I doing this? We're stretching the muscles. It's a mobilization with movement. So we're pinning the muscles in place with the cups. And then as you're going through the range of motion, you're actually stretching those muscles out in the deepest way that you possibly can. Go ahead and tilt your head down. Just try to let it relax. You can do it, tortured person. This is Kangas, and he is, is a tortured person in many a... ways. Oh. This being the least of them, probably. Yeah. All right, so let's take this arm and let's reach that way. Ugh. There you go. Wave to the camera. Say hi to the nice people. Hi, nice hi. people. Do it for the chat. Okay, other one? I am the other one, yes. Okay. Uh, Close uh, cups. 
I feel like uh, I feel like Warwick. Yeah, you, like a bunch of things. You're not the first person day. that I've worked with that has uh, made that observation. Well, but I'm definitely the funniest, right? You you are the funniest looking for sure. All right, let's have you come on down and we'll take those off one at oh, a time. Oh, thank God. Oh oh oh, that one just came off. Oh. Hold on one sec before you start chaining all my scenes. All right. Look here. Shoulder here. Sorry, I'm making oh. you dizzy. Oh, it feels so good when it releases. Like, uh, yeah, there we go. There we go. There's the money shot. <laughs> I feel like um, like I'm in one of those uh, roller coaster rides. Yeah. Like really tight. I don't know the best way to kind of like. So this has to go through the middle. Yep. I'll let you. Uh, well, we'll see. So ten pounds. Ten pounds. Who thinks I can do it? Yeah. Is that it? I just like dead. Why don't you stand up? all the way up? Yeah, there you go. Yeah. There we go. And nice. back down. All right. Let's speed up this process. Give me all the tens. Okay. Actually, no. Let's just jump up to uh the yellow. Is that thirty-five? The yellows are twenty-five. Twenty-fives. All right. Let, let's do. So this is a fifteen-pound jump for twenty-five. Oh yeah. There we go. There we go. Yeah, this is too easy. All right. This is too so easy. So this is the thing when you ask, like, how much do you think your neck can lift? I was like, I have no idea, but I'm gonna assume at least a 45. So if I out. cannot do this, this is kind of an embarrassment. I think this should be the benchmark for sure. All right. It's up. Oh, I wanted this. <laughs> it's up. <laughs> Show the plates inside. Okay. Uh, that one was probably the first one that I actually felt. Difficult? Yeah. Okay. So do you want to, how so do you want to progress this? Let's do, uh, let's just do 45 10. Okay. Well, we'll see. Because sometimes, like, you can never tell if it's going to jump up aggressively. Yeah. Especially with lifts you haven't done before. All right. Ready? Easy. Yeah. Easy work. All right. Turn to the 25. 25 to 45? 25 to 45. All right. This is, uh... It's up. Yeah. Breaking it off the ground is the hardest part. Once you get that done, it's yeah. easy. Okay, so. I'm, I'm at the point. Two, the two plates. We're going to try it. This is where... This is where things start to actually... Oh, probably should have just thrown the weight. Yeah, don't turn off my PC. Yeah. <laughs> he I jumped, jumped earlier, earlier and the whole PC... Uh, the whole PC turned off. That was amazing. All right, so this is where things are probably going to be tough. This is where I will have to give actual effort. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, wait, I think I can get it. Incomplete. It, 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 like, something moved on it. Okay. Oh, that is hard, though. That is considerably harder. Okay. <sighs> chat, I'm going to need your energy. Come on, chat. Let's get some dubs. Dave, chat. give it to me. Tell me I'm a gamer. <laughs> oh, man, it's up. Oh. Alright, how are you feeling? Is bud? it cheating if I have my elbows on my knees at the start? No, I don't think so. This is all about the neck, so I didn't cheat. Okay! Alright, so that's legit. You just gotta go fast enough. Well, let's see if I can max out. Let's put the tent on. Alright, buddy. Ah. Oh. But, uh. So we're here? Alright. Bam. Nice. Okay, let's see it. Here we go. Nice. Oh, 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 he's go he's going for reps. I forgot. Oh, he's an animal. Alright. Catching up to uh to canvas. I appreciate that. So did did you feel that at all or is this like still lightweight for you? Because I can feel it, yeah. Okay. It's not nothing. You were doing that pretty easily. <laughs> Alrighty, here we go. Yep. And give effort. Oh. Yeah, I feel that. Yep, <laughs> right? Like that's what that that's the jump. Alright. Hundred or er, hundred ten pounds. This is a lot. 
That's a lot of weight. Let's That's see it. Lot. Come on, okay. max effort. You got this. Yeah! Ooh. It's on the way down is the hardest part. Yeah, that's I'm not going to lie. Going down, like grabbing the chain, that's probably correct. No hands on the way up, though. Yep. Oh, I don't think it's going to break the ground. <laughs> Come on. Also, don't hurt yourself. Yeah, that's that's another thing I'm trying to make sure. Oh. It's not. My neck just doesn't want to do it. What if I just squat it up? Nope. I, I can't. That's it. 100 was my max. Oh, right. No, no, no. I can't, I can't accept that. One more. One oh. more effort. For the dead chat. This one's for you. Dead chat. Dead Kangas. Same thing at this point. Oh. It's like... Not even... Let's see if it don't hurt yourself. Oh, I don't know if that counted. I think we can count that. Because I squatted it up. We can count it. All right, we'll count that. It's a tie, because I'm not going to that. <laughs> that was awful. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> Please don't do this at home. Like, there's no reason to do, do it. Do, doing, like, the, the whole, like, deadlift kind of hinge sucked. Yeah. But once I just got under it and just squatted it directly up, it's like, I could do it. But, yeah, yeah. No, that's definitely yeah. not. There's no, no good reason to be doing this at all. <laughs>
Oh, you just keep it on cam one, I guess. Yep. Okay. Just on cam one right there. Yep. Oh my gosh, this is already burning. Oh my gosh, I'm so much heavier than you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but your head's not. I mean, you already established this. It's not my head that's failing. All right, you're at 10 seconds. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> I hate you so much. <laughs> Even my calves are cramping. Ah. All right, you're at 15. Shut up. <laughs> you're actually the worst. 100, 99, 98, 97, 96. Oh my gosh, I almost dropped it. All right, you're at 20 I'm seconds. I'm flying, shut up. <laughs> Okay, I can't. Oh no! Oh my god, you were at one minute two seconds! No way! You were literally oh so god. close! Oh my gosh! Oh! I have brought. Doc! Dishonor! It was so close! I was freaking out, I was like, oh, he's gonna get it! Oh, he's just gonna smoke me! Yeah, had you told me that, I would have actually, like. I think you could have, you do. Wow. You, now oh. we measure our necks again. Yeah. Now we have to measure it again to see if we got any growth. Yeah. So uh, we were both. At, I was at 15. You were at like 15 and a quarter. Uh huh. So let's see. Where where's the tape? It's over there. My hamstring. How are you feeling? <laughs> My hamstrings are sore. <laughs> actually. Okay. So take two of the neck measurements. That neck pump. Uh, oh, this is seven years. All right, uh, let's see it. Let's flex it. Uh, Sixteen and a quarter. Oh my god, a whole inch? That's right. insane. That's actually nuts. All right, you hold it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Wait, I gotta get more of this. <laughs> 17. BAM! The yeah. neck pump is real! That is insane. You got a two inch...